Alrighty guys. Well, we got another sidewall completed. And just about got this one. I gotta tack weld all those bars in or weld all those bars in, flip it over, do the other side. Before you know it, we'll be into uh, the final stages. But I'm going in for suppers. We'll call her a day for today. We cut a bunch of wood, filled the wood box in the house. So yeah, it was a little bit of this and that, and and uh, a whole lot of a whole lot of bouncing from one job to the next job, back and forth, right? Uh, so, anywho, give us the old thumbs up, comment, subscribe. You guys all know the drill. Share the videos. Make sure you're sharing them. And fun, fun, fun. Let's get her done. We'll catch you later. Well, how's she going today, guys? Not so bad. Good and you. Good and you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well. I guess this is going to be CP's main wheels here for a bit. That and that. I'm going to see her drive all the way to Regina with that thing to get groceries. Ha ha! Uh-oh. He's lost. It's IC. <laughs> Careful. I don't want to see you break a leg. <laughs> I'm going to let you guys go. Okay, guys. Well, we're back. That was uh, Sass Power, dude. He's checking approaches and driveways and yard sites because the power overhead power line that runs through our property is supposed to be getting taken out and moved. Uh, this is a SAS power thing that's doing this. Anyways, uh, he didn't realize that I had two approaches coming into our yard. He thought the power line was gonna come through this driveway, then go all the way down, loop all the fucking way around to where the transformer pole is. I says, you're all screwed up, buddy. You gotta come through the other driveway. And after showing him the other driveway, he goes, oh yes, this is, and I showed him how the, his map even shows my buildings. He was lost. These foreign guys that get hired by big corporations, they haven't got a sniff of what the hell they're doing. Somebody has to draw a picture for them, and even then they have trouble with it. Anywho, looks like I gotta grind grain for some piggies. These guys are probably hungry. They're moving their feeder around like crazy here. You rotten little shits. Ugh. Anywho, guys, my plan. Ugh, come here. There. My plan for the afternoon here was, well, for the day, was to work on that round bale feeder. The CP and I had to go to the city and pick up Tristan's dog. We're babysitting it for the weekend. And the Ford left us sitting in the city. I ended up phoning a buddy who gave us a ride home. The Ford is down and out for the count for a little while. Transmission issues. Something about a pump inside the tranny. Oh, so that's no goddamn good. So it's in the shop for a few days. That's why CP's main wheels is now the journey or the side-by-side. -side. Okay. Let's try and get something done on this thing. Because I'm hoping that the to-be owner of this thing can come and get it Sunday. But you never know. It might not work. It might work. We'll see what happens. Talk to you all later. There she goes. CP's feeding. She said she doesn't like feeding with that tractor. She'd rather feed with Little Blue, but you don't gotta grapple, so you gotta make lots and lots of trips. With this guy, it's like four trips you're done. And it really doesn't take that long. Anywho, what's going on in here? 
Well, I got this side all welded up. I got my two sides standing. Uh, according to my level, we're basically straight. <laughs> Might have to do some little tweaking this way or that way, but I'd say we're pretty goddamn good. Uh, it's going to be difficult to do with that there, but we can go lower down. I'd say we're pretty fucking level for straight up and down. So it's a bugger putting these guys in when you're by yourself. But anyways, I got to get two in at the other end and then cross square it to make sure we're square on the X. Mm, so yeah, it's coming slowly but surely it's coming. Um, don't remember if I said anything yesterday. <coughs> About the CWD in the deer. Now the, the game warden guy, he said, yeah, it's, he's 99% positive that it is a CWD deer. And I did some research on it and Apparently, we can potentially that disease in the deer is kind of like uh, BSE in cattle. So, and you can, there's like a 30% risk that the cows could get it. Um, probably wouldn't really hurt them much other than the cows becoming poor doers and weak calves. Well, that's a big deal to me because weak calves and poor doer calves means a lot less dollars in our pocketbook, right? So I got a hold of crop insurance and I told them if this is 100% confirmed, yes, we'll know in a couple weeks. Those bales are not getting fed at all. I'll I'll destroy the bales, and they're gonna have to pay me out 100. percent And they're saying, "Well, we gotta talk to other people about that." And I says, "Well, you guys agreed to take this problem on, this wildlife management problem on, from uh, the game wardens or conservation officers. So this is kind of your problem." Prince Charles's wildlife is now your problem, not mine. And I shouldn't have to be paying for his problem. That's the way I look at it. He can kiss my ass. I didn't care for the man to begin with, and I even care for him less now. So, yahoo, yahoo, right? In the meantime and in between time, we still got to look after our cows, and we still got to get this uh, round bale feeder finished for the customer right so fun 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 let's work at getting her done catch you guys later all righty guys so one stage closer why is that so small why is that pipe lifted up so it's not on the ground because this end is getting a skid, like I said before. We're gonna be cutting a skid so he pulls it, and if that pipe was right on the bottom, it's gonna get wrecked. It'll get ripped out if he hooks a rock, dragging it around the corrals or out in the pasture or whatever. It'll get fucked up. So I lift him up basically six inches, and just one two by six goes in that spot right there. And at the other end, same thing. So. Yeah, so now CP and I are gonna start at uh, building the cradle. Yahoo! Later. Alrighty guys, well, guess what? It's fucking done. Bar 22 Ranch.
get your trailer hooked up. Get on over here because your feeder is ready to rock and roll. We got skids cut in. We put a bar on the top to hook a chain onto if you want, or you could just wrap it around the corner posts of the feeder. We've got a six inch gap for you so you don't hook stones or whatever might be in your corral or pasture, wherever you're using it. This way you can skid it around. Or you can pick it up the way we built those other last two that we made. You can just pick it up and lift it and carry it around that way too. I know you got a big enough tractor. But yeah, she is done. Woo! Like I always say, fun, fun, fun. Let's get her done. And that's exactly what we did. We got her done. And so he's really hoping to get it so that he can have it in place for his bulls and whatnot before he goes on a bit of a holiday. So uh, there it is. Sweet. Give us the old thumbs up, comment, subscribe. And like I said earlier, fun, fun, fun. Let's get her done. We'll catch you guys later. Hey. So is this the new CWD look after the fucking problem crew? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're on YouTube, you fuckers. <laughs> Coffee time, guys. Coffee time. <laughs>